When it comes to truly unique figures in the past century of music, for so many reasons, there's absolutely nobody else in the same category as John Williams. Arguably the greatest composer in film history, it's his compositions that have helped drive home the emotion in many of the most iconic scenes in movie history. Born in February of 1932 in Long Island, New York, his father was a jazz percussionist and he showed a passion for both playing and writing music at a very young age. After attending UCLA, he was drafted into the Air Force in 1952, and among other duties, he arranged and conducted music for the U.S. Air Force Band. After finishing his military service in 1955, he moved back to New York City and entered the Juilliard School. And it was really here that his professional career began as he worked in arranging and playing behind musicians like Henry Mancini and Frankie Lane, among many others, and during this time, he got a number of uncredited performances to his name. In the early 1960s, he relocated to Los Angeles to be closer to the film industry. And as a studio pianist, he played on scores for movies like Charade and Peter Gunn, and he also composed music for shows like Gilligan's Island, Lost in Space, and many others. As the decade wore on, his name got bigger and bigger in both the TV and film industries. As his ability to work simultaneously in both the jazz and symphonic worlds, and give it a completely distinctive tone, was quickly being noticed by even the biggest movie houses. Then in 1967, Williams was nominated for an Academy Award for his work in the score to the movie The Valley of the Dolls. And then after being nominated again two years later, he finally won for his score to the film adaptation of Fiddler on the Roof. Throughout the first half of the 1970s, Williams was constantly working for a number of different studios, and it's his music that backs what many see as the trinity of disaster films of the decade, those being The Poseidon Adventure, The Towering Inferno, and Earthquake. Then in 1974, a young director named Steven Spielberg approached Williams about scoring his first film, which was called The Sugarland Express. After doing this, Williams quickly set to work on scoring the director's next film, and it's here where he created what may very well be the most intimidating two notes in all of music history. It is, of course, the first two notes to the legendary theme from the movie Jaws. After taking home another Academy Award for that movie, he was pretty much the biggest name in film composing, handling everything from Superman to Close Encounters of the Third Kind to E.T. to the Indiana Jones movies. However, in 1977, Williams set another standard when he composed a small piece that is commonly known as Luke's theme for a very small, relatively unknown film series called Star Wars. The 80s found Williams working on movies like Empire of the Sun and The Color Purple, and the following decade brought his music to films like Schindler's List, Saving Private Ryan, and another iconic piece in the form of the theme to Jurassic Park. Even in the past 10 years, it's been Williams who's been responsible for the scores for some of the Harry Potter films, the new installments of Star Wars and Superman, as well as War Horse, Lincoln, and many other films. The list of John Williams' achievements truly goes on and on and on, and one can easily make the argument that when it comes to capturing the true sound of film, there's nobody else in history on the same level as the great John Williams. Oh!